Erie City Council finally passing its budget for 2023, but not without plenty of delay. Matt Mathias has a breakdown of what went into the approval of the revised budget. Erie City Council has been workshopping ideas to amend Mayor Joe Schember's proposed city budget for months. Schember proposed the budget to council earlier than any mayor ever has before, presenting it October 19th. Evidently, council needed every day they could manage, not seeing eye to eye until December 27th, just days before a passed budget was required. At the council's last meeting on December 21st, council asked Mayor Schember and his team to cut $2 million of spending. Tuesday night, a revised budget cutting nearly $820,000 was passed. So what changed? The president of city council shared with us what she believes changed the mind of other council members. I think one of the things is that most council members realize that to go any deeper we would be putting city services in jeopardy. The city council president adds that she thinks that it's more important than ever that council starts on working on a plan for 2024 sooner than later. There's a lot of hard work but I am glad that there were five council members who agreed it was time to approve it and then get to work on 2024. And I'm dead serious that we need to work on 2024 beginning in 2023. The proposed changes to the budget mostly impact city police, with 631,000 of 820,000 freed up dollars coming from recalculated police hiring and retirement dates. While the budget was passed, it became a down to the wire situation, and some might consider it abnormal to hold out on a budget approval this long. However, the city solicitor disagrees. Ideally, you always want to pass it uh, with enough time. You prefer to pass it before the holidays. That doesn't always happen, and it didn't happen in this case. That's not a problem. We just have to get it done before December 31st. And I think council and the mayor are, are diligent in trying to make sure that uh, we spend the money in the best interest of the taxpayers. Matt Mathias, Fox 66 News.